Hello all and welcome to a new video. My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and you're watching another Pen Pal video. Now in today's video I'm going to show you an outgoing project to my Pen Pal bid. It has arrived in Germany. Luckily both our mail services are still working so she has received this. There's no more, more spoilers. Uh, this is not going to be a real time video but I just wanted to include this little shot because it is nice. I really like the sounds uh, of like the plastic, the tape, all of that. So I, I decided to leave that in for a little bit of relaxing vibes. In today's video, I'm first obviously, as you can see, going to show you the project I sent my pen pal and then we are going to decorate the envelope. Um, yeah, this is the the mail. Of course, it's not. I don't want anyone to read the letter, but I went with a little bit of a blue slash light purple theme. I had that beautiful paper um, from an action paper pad that has some beautiful hydrangeas on it. It's like a little bit in between a light purple and a light blue, so I decided that would be my theme. I don't always work with a theme, but it's kind of nice to work with a color scheme for once. These are the goodies I included. It's obviously a, a simple pen pal folder. On the right was my letter and then these are the goodies. I included a bunch of blue die cuts, all of them are blue, um, a washi tape sample and a lot of blue stamps. Sorry for the not focus, this is the outside. <laughs> a lot of blue stamps as well as some other little goodies. And I sent that out <laughs> to my pen pal. I also included the stamps in that little um, fabric baggie. I just thought that would look kind of cute. I am as always going to talk in this video, but I'm also going to leave little moments of silence. Not because I'm trying to change my aesthetic. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I still like talking. Um, but simply because my brain is not right at this moment. Don't worry, I'm not having an anxiety day. Little applause, not an anxiety day today, but stupid silly me <laughs> um, may have taken her medication twice yesterday. So my brain uh, is a bit fuzzy. I am a little bit dizzy, but luckily the, the side effects of that medication are not as severe as my previous medication was. It's just I don't, I cannot really form coherent, cohesive, is it coherent or cohesive? See, I don't even know, uh, sentences. So I will explain and then I will leave you with a moment of music as well. But main, the main part is going to be me talking because that's what I like doing. Now for this meal, I uh, am obviously working with both paper scraps as well as magazine clip outs. That folder you saw me pull things from is a folder that is filled with pretty images that I <laughs> got. <laughs> what is she even doing? Um, she's probably on my lap. Yeah, there she is. Is filled with images and pictures and quotes and stuff like that that I pulled from magazines, mainly Flow magazine, but also magazines my grandma and my uh, mom read, as well as those um, little booklets you can find in stores. Sometimes they have those really aesthetically pleasing uh, booklets that hold all of their products in it. So I, I save those in a big folder and uh, I'm pulling from that now. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I, um, over on my Patreon, link is down below if you wanna check it out. I'm not gonna explain too much about that now, but over on my Patreon, I'm doing a monthly challenge. This challenge is very, very loose. It's not strict. It's not like a, a you win or you lose. It's not you do it right or you do it wrong. It's just a prompt that you can use for any type of project from happy meal to journaling to art pieces doesn't really matter but this month's prompt that I did over on patreon is use magazine uh, clip outs now I've, I have a couple patreons already which is really really great I think we're at 10 now which is very amazing of course um, and I uh, use a hashtag for this prompt it's hashtag craft club challenge so if you want to check out what my other patrons or what I made for this challenge you can check that hashtag on Instagram 
I already have some really cool entries. <laughs> um, like I said, it's not you don't win or you, there's no prize. It's just for the fun of getting out of your own creative headspace and trying something new. I don't think using magazine clipouts is new, but just trying something that you maybe wouldn't have done if it weren't for the challenge, because that is what I did. I have so many pretty magazine clipouts, but I, I still don't use them often enough. So that is what I'm doing. But as you could see from the beginning, I struggled a bit because I had a certain idea in mind and then that wasn't working. I really wanted to use that beautiful quote. Wasn't happy, kept changing things around. So now I'm finally finding uh, what I like. <laughs> it took me a while, but that's okay too. You know, I can use these the other pretty, Im pretty images a different time. Um, this is an image from Flow magazine, if I'm not mistaken. Although it could very well be from a different magazine as well. As you could see also from the folder that I showed you in the beginning, as well as the images I pulled out of the folder, I always gravitate to floral or plant images. I like using I like trying out different things, but in the end, it's always gonna come down to floral images and plant images. That's just, I even, even talking about it right now makes me smile. That's just what brings me joy. That's just what I enjoy. I really like using. Um, there are so many different styles you can use these for. This image, I think, would have also looked very fun on vintage book pages. Although I have to admit, I say this all the time, I do not actually use vintage nearly at all, I would say, if it isn't for a video, because I know you guys like using, like me seeing, well, I know you guys, I know a lot of people like seeing me use vintage images and I also enjoy making the videos, don't worry. I'm not doing anything I don't enjoy doing, but um, it's not something I gravitate to in my normal daily crafting. Obviously what I gravitate to is floral images as well as plants. So it made sense uh, for me to pick these images and these stamps, that little rose under a glass something <laughs> stamp is I received from Portia who's also known as eccentric nincompoop on Instagram she has a stamp subscription service which is really really cool and she sent me one to try so <laughs> I'm using that and then I'm using washi tape samples and different stamps all of that uh, I did some doodling I'm using distress distress oxide around the edges of the envelope to kind of um, make it all come together a little bit more. So there's that. Now come the stamps and a wax seal stamp. Uh, I do have to say that I was actually planning on cancelling my Flow magazine subscription. <laughs> Although I love the magazine, I just don't read it often enough. But now that we're all home, quarantined, um, or just staying inside because it's probably best, I've actually been reading a lot more. And I do really like the magazine. I mean, there's so many good, good, good uh, articles in there and things that I sometimes need to read in order to learn. Like, Flow magazine is really good for that. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of undecided still. Um, I could use the money for something else, but then again, there are so many pretty images in the magazine that I could also use for crafting. So whether I use the magazine itself for crafting or whether I spend that money on something else, I don't know if it's gonna make any difference. Especially with this challenge, I'm really hoping to do more things with uh, magazine images because as you're going to see in some more videos on my channel, 
sometime in the future there's really really cool things you can do with that here's a little wax seal uh, I don't know 100% if I like the color combination but that that is also okay because it's like an peachy orange with a green light green and that matches the image on the left really really well which I like a lot but I don't know if I would normally match these colors together but then that's also fun because it's still pretty in its own way it's just different <laughs> and I, I ended up uh, being fond of that as well even though it's not as aesthetically pleasing as I would normally like it to be it's it matches and I like it. <laughs> like I said, I'm a bit fuzzy brained, okay? Now that's it for today's video. Don't worry, it's not over yet. I'm just going to start my goodbyes early because I always make these way too long. Um, let me know if you like this kind of video, you know, this, like a little bit of a project chair. First a simple little project chair and then envelope decorating after with a little bit of talking. Uh, and hopefully some new ideas. Um, I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're all staying inside. I hope you're all happy healthy as happy as could be i guess i should say um the last thing i'm writing here is thank you mailman because i'm very happy that our postal service is still working in this crazy time um don't forget to check out the other videos i have on my channel during this crazy time i'm trying to do three videos a week or two videos and a live stream so you guys have something extra to watch but i do have to say that i'm planning on visiting my parents sometime in the future sometime in the near future and i don't have either a computer or my craft supplies there so then maybe i have to go back to two videos or maybe even one for the time being but like I said, there's a dozen videos on my channel, so um, I hope you will have enough of that. Anyway, that's it for today's video. Um, feel free to leave anything you want to leave in the comments down below, and I will see you again very soon. Links to my social media, including Instagram and Patreon, in the description box down below. Bye!